Service Teardown HP Elite Desk 800 95W G4 Desktop Mini PC How to Replace the Access Panel Removal Note the front bezel comes attached to the access panel and is not separately removable slash replaceable. Loosen the T15 captive thumb screw on the rear of the PC. Firmly slide the panel toward the front of the PC to disengage it from the PC. Lift the panel off of the PC. Replacement. Align the tabs with the slots in the chassis and lower the access panel into position on the PC. Slide the panel toward the rear of the unit until the rear edge of the panel is flush against the rear of the chassis. Tighten the T15 captive thumb screw on the rear of the PC. How to replace the memory modules? Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal. Swing up the fan. Push both arms outward simultaneously to release the memory module to the spring tension position. Grasp the memory module by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Replacement Align the notch in the memory module with the key in the memory module slot on the motherboard. At an angle, gently insert the memory module into its slot on the motherboard. Press the memory module down to latch the arms. Swing down the fan. Route the fan cable through the routing channel on the heatsink. How to replace the fan. Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of the fan cable for later replacement. Disconnect the fan connector from the motherboard. Remove the fan cable from the routing channel on the heatsink. Rotate the front edge of the fan off of the alignment pins and slide the fan posts out of the cutouts in the chassis and heatsink. Replacement Slide the fan posts into the slots in the chassis and heatsink and lower the front edge of the fan onto the alignment pins. Connect the fan into the connector on the motherboard. Route the fan cable through the routing channel on the heatsink. How to replace the speaker. Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal. Remove the foam pad and grounding tape that partially cover the speaker. Disconnect the speaker from the connector on the motherboard. Remove the 4mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the speaker to the chassis. Slide the speaker up and out of the chassis. Replacement. Slide the speaker into position on the chassis. Replace the 4mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the speaker to the chassis. Connect the speaker into the connector on the motherboard. Replace the foam pad and grounding tape that partially cover the speaker. How to replace the thermal sensor? Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal. Remove the foam pad that covers the thermal sensor connector on the motherboard. Disconnect the thermal sensor from the connector on the motherboard and remove. Replacement. Connect the thermal sensor into the connector on the motherboard. Replace the foam pad that covers the thermal sensor connector on the motherboard. How to replace the option board. Before you begin, remove the access panel. Removal. Remove the two 4mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the option board to the motherboard. Using a non-metallic flat bladed tool, lift the edge of the option board to disconnect it from the motherboard. Slide the option board out of the cutouts in the chassis and remove. Replacement. Slide the option board into the cutouts in the chassis and align the screw holes in the option board with the standoffs on the motherboard.
Press the option board into the connector on the motherboard. Replace the two 4mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the option board to the motherboard. How to replace the heatsink. Before you begin, remove the access panel and fan. Removal. Disconnect the heatsink fan cable from the connector on the motherboard. Note, the heatsink has numbers adjacent to the following six screws. Loosen the three captive T15 Torx head screws that secure the heatsink over the processor in numerical order. Remove the three 12mm T15 Torx head screws that secure the heatsink over the motherboard in numerical order. Note, due to the adhesive quality of the thermal grease and thermal pads located between the heatsink and processor components, it may be necessary to move the heatsink from side to side to detach it from the motherboard. Lift the heatsink off of the processor and slide it out from under the chassis edge. Replacement Using an alcohol swab, carefully remove the thermal grease from the heatsink and processor. Apply new thermal grease to the processor. Inspect the thermal pads. If one is torn or otherwise damaged, it needs to be replaced. Tow the heatsink under the chassis edge. Align the screw holes on the heatsink with the standoffs on the motherboard and place the heatsink into position. Tighten the three captive T15 Torx head screws that secure the heatsink over the processor in numerical order. Replace the three 12mm T15 Torx head screws that secure the heatsink over the motherboard in numerical order. Connect the heatsink fan cable into the connector on the motherboard. How to replace the wireless LAN module. Before you begin, remove the access panel, fan, and heatsink. Removal. Caution. Use care when disconnecting the wireless LAN antenna cables from the wireless LAN module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. Carefully disconnect the wireless LAN antenna cables from the wireless LAN module by grasping the connectors with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Remove the 4mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless LAN module to the motherboard and allow it to release to the spring tension position. Grasp the wireless LAN module by the edges and pull gently to remove it from the slot on the motherboard. Replacement Align the notch in the wireless LAN module with the key in the wireless LAN module slot on the motherboard. At an angle, Gently insert the wireless LAN module into the slot on the motherboard. Replace the 4mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless LAN module to the motherboard. Reconnect the wireless LAN antenna cables to the wireless LAN module. Caution! Use care when disconnecting the wireless LAN antenna cables from the wireless LAN module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. How to replace the M.2 solid state drive. Before you begin, remove the access panel, fan, and heatsink. Removal. Important. It is possible to have two M.2 solid state drives installed and configured into a RAID. Be sure to check your system's configuration before replacing an M.2 solid state drive. Remove the 4mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the solid state drive to the motherboard and allow it to release to the spring tension position. Grasp the solid state drive by the edges and pull gently to remove it from the slot on the motherboard. Replacement Align the notch in the solid state drive with the key in the solid state drive slot on the motherboard. At an angle, gently insert the solid state drive into its slot on the motherboard. Replace the 4mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the solid state drive to the motherboard. How to replace the CPU? Before you begin, remove the access panel, fan, and heatsink. Removal. Press down to release the CPU load lever from its retention tab and pull it back. Lift the load plate off the socket. Important. Identify the pin 1 triangle on the socket and CPU prior to removing the CPU. Important. When handling the CPU, do not touch the CPU contacts. 
carefully lift the CPU straight up and out of the socket. Replacement. Align the pin 1 triangle on the CPU with the pin 1 triangle on the socket. Carefully lower the CPU into position in the socket. Swing the load plate down. Lock the load lever under its retaining tab to secure the CPU in place. How to replace the CMOS battery. Before you begin, remove the access panel, fan, and heatsink. Removal. Carefully release the CMOS battery from the socket retention clips that secure it on the motherboard and remove. Replacement. Carefully secure the CMOS battery under the socket retention clips on the motherboard. How to restore CMOS to factory settings. Before you begin, remove the access panel, fan, and heatsink. Steps. Carefully release the CMOS battery from the socket retention clips that secure it on the motherboard and remove. Wait 30 seconds. Carefully secure the CMOS battery under the socket retention clips on the motherboard. CMOS factory settings are now reset. Important. You will now need to enter system BIOS and reset the clock in BIOS after this procedure. How to replace the motherboard. Before you begin, remove the access panel, fan, heatsink, wireless LAN module, M.2 solid state drive, option board, and CPU. Removal. Install a socket cover on the CPU load plate. Disconnect the speaker cable from the connector on the motherboard. Remove the three 9mm T15 Torx head screws that secure the motherboard to the chassis. Lift the front edge of the motherboard and guide the external connectors on the motherboard out of the cutouts in the chassis. Remove the motherboard. Note: Before installing a new motherboard, remove the following from the old motherboard and install onto the new motherboard. Memory boards. CMOS battery. Thermal pad. Replacement. At an angle. Tow the external connectors on the rear edge of the motherboard into the cutouts in the chassis and lower it into position. Replace the three 9mm T15 Torx head screws that secure the motherboard to the chassis. Connect the speaker cable into the connector on the motherboard. How to replace the wireless antennas? Before you begin, remove the access panel, fan, heat sink, wireless LAN module, M.2 solid state drive, option board, CPU, and motherboard. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of the wireless antenna cables for later replacement. Remove the wireless antenna cables from the routing clips on the chassis. Remove the retention tabs on the number 2 wireless antenna transceiver from the chassis and guide the wireless antenna cable through the cutout. Remove the 4mm P1 Phillips head screw that secures the middle frame to the top cover. Remove the retention tabs on the number 1 wireless antenna transceiver from the chassis and guide the wireless antenna cable through the cutout. Replacement. Guide the number one wireless antenna cable into the cutout in the chassis and use the retention clips on the wireless antenna transceiver to secure it to the chassis. Replace the four millimeter P1 Phillips head screw that secures the middle frame to the top cover. Guide the number two wireless antenna cable into the cutout in the chassis and use the retention clips on the wireless antenna transceiver to secure it to the chassis. Guide the wireless antenna cables through the routing clips on the chassis. 